And we're following breaking news in Missouri. A death row inmate who garnered a lot of support for clemency was executed just over an hour ago. Brian Dorsey pled guilty to two counts of first-degree murder for the killing of his cousin and her husband, Sarah and Ben Bonney, back in 2006. He filed several appeals throughout the years against his death sentence, including all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court. Missouri Governor Mike Parson denied his last-minute effort for clemency last night, despite letters from dozens of former and current correctional officers who called Dorsey a, quote, model inmate and asked the governor to spare his life. The governor said no. Governor Parson said in a statement that the pain Dorsey brought can never be rectified and carrying out his death sentence will deliver justice and closure. In his final statement earlier today, Dorsey expressed his apologies over the murders and thanked those who tried to stop his execution. He wrote in part, quote, to all those on all sides of this sentence, I carry no ill will or anger, only acceptance and understanding. NBC News legal analyst Angela Sinadella joins me now with more. So, Angela, walk us through this, because one of the things that made a lot of people look at this case maybe differently or just a little closer than other uh, controversial or high-profile death executions was the fact that so many correctional officers were saying, hey, wait, don't do this. What made this different or unique, at least in some aspects, prior to him being executed? Yes, that's exactly right. That was really the most extraordinary part of this whole process. How often do you have 70 corrections officers, I think even north of that, writing on paper that this man was not only a model inmate, but was also fully rehabilitated? So that's the crux of this issue. When you philosophically look at even what the proponents of the death penalty are saying, they even tend to want to reserve these cases cases to those where the defendant can really never be rehabilitated. But here we have a defendant who everyone is saying has been fully rehabilitated over the decade plus that he was behind bars. And that at that point when he committed the murders that he was under a drug induced psychosis, but was fully over that was fully cured and was frankly just almost bringing joy behind bars to other inmates and to the officers. So at that point you do wonder then well, what is the point of the death penalty if it does result in something like this? You know, looking just at the big picture of death penalty, all of the EU countries, they have abolished the death penalty. The U.S., I believe, is the only country in the Americas that still has the death penalty in the capacity that we have today. And then just looking at some stats from the Death Penalty Information Center, 70 percent of countries, they say, have abolished the death penalty. The majority of death penalty uh, executions for civilians and crimes it comes from just a handful of countries, the U.S., China, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Pakistan. When you look at what's happening in Missouri, do you think we're starting to see a shift in what has been for many, many years a highly contentious debate? But does it seem like the tide might be turning here? Yes, absolutely. And I would say that it's been happening for a while, but it's cases like this that really spotlight the opposition to it. Because again, as I said earlier, even the proponents of the death penalty in a case like this, when the defendant has seemingly been fully rehabilitated, is left with the question, well, then what is the point if it's possible a prison system could work? If the prison system could actually reform this individual, then is a death penalty still required? So, yes, the movement has been going strong. Public opinion has certainly waned against the death penalty. So I think we are going to see more states in the future getting rid of it. All right. Angela Sinadella, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.